When we started talking about multiplication, we actually saw it's really nice to lay out multiplications, the sort of picture of them in this sort of format, which we call an array. So we call it an array. And this is a nice format to lay it out in because it allows us to see certain things very nicely and easily. So this array, for example, that I've got here is showing you 10 lots of 3, all right? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lots of 3. And because we are very, very good at multiplying by 3, we know immediately that the answer to this is 30. So we know immediately that what I've got here is 30 dots. Now, one of the things that this picture of the array can give me quite quickly and easily is ways to work out new multiplication facts from old. So say I don't know what 9 lots of 3 is, what 9 times 3 is. Well, because I know that 10 lots of 3 is 30, and 9 lots of 3 will just be, all I have to do is take off that last lot of 3. So in other words, it's just going to be 30 minus 3 which is 27. So I can picture that as 9 lots of 3 is, let's go for, what is the whole 10 lots of 3? But then I'm just going to take off 1 lot of 3. So easy to get to my answer. Similarly, if somebody wanted me now to quickly get to what is going to be the answer to, 12 lots of 3. I don't have to start at the beginning. I can start from the fact that I know that 10 lots of 3 is 30. And so all I want to add on to my 10 lots of 3 are another 2 more lots of 3. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to say I've got to take my 10 lots of 3 and I've got to add on 2 more lots of 3. That's going to be 30. This is 6. So my answer is 36. Gives me very nice, easy ways to picture it. Seeing multiplication as array can help me get to a lot of multiplication facts very quickly and easily. So here, for example, what I can see is I've got eight counters in a row. And so if I know my doubling, it's very easy to get to two times eight. It's just double eight. So two times eight, that gives me 16. But this array idea will show me that if I know my 2 times table, my 4 times table is really easy. If I want to know what 4 times 8 is, then picturing the array for 4 times 8, I can just see that 4 times 8 is just 2 lots of 2 times 8. It's just double 2 times 8. So all I have to do is double 16 and I'll get the answer of 32. And hopefully you can immediately see how knowing your 4 times table then takes you straight to knowing your 8 times table. Because all you're doing when you've got 8 lots of 8 is you've got 4 lots of 8 and another 4 lots of 8. So you're going to have 64, double 32.